Rick here. I'm back with another video, and I'm here to do an unboxing of the Spigen Ultra Hybrid case with a kickstand for the Galaxy S9 Plus. Now, if you haven't seen my unbox video of the Galaxy S9 Plus, I'll leave a link in the description. Go ahead and check that out. So again, I purchased this case off of Amazon. I purchased it for about $15. I pre-ordered this so it could be here uh, just when my phone arrived and it actually arrived yesterday, so I was kind of grateful for that. So real quick, $15 on Amazon. Again, I'll leave a link in the description where you can pick that up uh, on Amazon. Uh, one of the things I really liked about this was the kickstand technology here. So I've ordered a couple of cases from Spigen that had kickstands, and I found that this is the most sturdiest kickstand that they offer. And then again, too, you could actually take it out of the case and rearrange it the opposite way if you like viewing videos from the other angle. So I thought that was cool as well. So a little bit about the Spigen Ultra Hybrid case. Kind of bring this a little bit closer for you guys so you can see. Uh, it has these cushions on all four corners and they're little air pockets. So if you were to drop the phone on its on, on the corner like this, and most likely if you would drop it, it would probably drop on its corner like that. Uh, those air pockets are supposed to protect it and support the phone as well. Um, what else? Uh, usually has that military grade uh, protection. Uh, but real quick, let's open it up and slap it on the phone and see how it looks. So the one thing I really like about Spigen is that they offer really high quality cases at a low affordable price. A lot of people going to the T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon store picking up cases like outer box cases for like 30, 40, 50 bucks. And with a Spigen case, you can get one for between 10 and even $15 and you have a great case. Now I'm gonna show you guys something in a little bit. Uh, I do have this case from an S8 and it has fallen apart. Now I've had the S8 for about a year now or a little bit less than a year and I paid 15 bucks for this case. So if this case lasts you six months and you have to buy another one, then I think you've got your money's worth because this is a really good case and it's really affordable. Again, let's open this up. See what we have in the box. Okay, they give you a little instruction pamphlet about the kickstand. And again, the kickstand is right here. And on the back of it, because, uh, again, because it clips it over here, you could actually rearrange it from one side to the next. This actually has felt on it. So that this does not touch the back of your phone. It's like a soft padded material over here. So when this touches the back of your phone, it's not gonna harm it, scratch it, or anything of that sort. Uh, quick hardware tour. Again, this is the kickstand. I'll just show you guys real quick how that works. You wanna watch a video, boom, you just put it like that. Put it this way, and the kickstand's there, and it works perfectly fine every single time it stands up. This is great when you have little kids and they're, they're playing on your phone, they're watching cartoons, um, and you don't have something to prop your phone up with. Just boom, it's right here on your case. We'll just slap that on the new Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Guys, I'm really excited. I just got this phone today and it's a beauty. All right, real quick, let's get out of Google Pay. Real quick hardware tour. All right, uh, to the left, you have your power button over here. Uh, the case has the button, it's very tactile over here. So, you know, you're gonna be able to press it without no problem and the screen illuminates every single time you have no issues. To the bottom, the cutouts are perfectly cut and perfectly aligned. So you have your cutout for your speaker grill, your microphone, USB type C, which is cut out a little bit more wider. So uh, your different size uh, chargers could fit in there without an issue and a wide opening as well for your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Over here to the left, you have your uh, your button for your Bixby button uh, and your volume up and down rockers. Again, these buttons are very tactile and they push uh, very easily. You don't have to put, apply a lot of pressure and you know you're pushing the button when you're pushing this with the case. Up top, there really isn't nothing except for a cutout for a microphone. And if you haven't seen, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit over here. Let's see if the zoom works. Come on, baby, work. All right, so you have these air pockets right here on each corner. You have them on every corner, and that's like a patented uh, technology that Spigen offers uh, with this case. Uh, one thing, there's two uh, transparent cases that Spigen offers. I just wanna let you guys know the difference between this case and the liquid crystal case. So other than the kickstand, because they offer 
a standard uh, ultra hybrid case without a kickstand. So I just want to explain to you the difference between this and the liquid crystal case. The liquid, the liquid crystal case is a floppy TPU all around. Now the back of the ultra hybrid, and it's the reason why I like it so much, is a harder plastic and the sides are a softer plastic. So you kind of have the best of both worlds. So you have that softer touch and feel when you're touching, because most of the time you'll be touching the side rails of the actual device or the actual case. And you have the air cushion technology. You want this to be a little bit softer, so it takes the impact. If it was hard, it might just break or shatter. And because it's soft on the sides and the impact of your phone dropping most likely will be at an angle or towards the side of the side rails of the case or the device. So it, you get the best of both worlds. You have that rigidity, the rigidity on the back of the device and the softness over here on the sides of the device as well. Um, and I just think it's a really cool case. Obviously I like clear cases because I want to show off the phone. I purchased the Coral Blue uh, version. I think it's really, really attractive and a very good looking color over here. And I just, I just want to show it off. So what better than a transparent case so you could show your phone off. Also, it doesn't have a lot of heft to it. So it's not going to add so much, you know, um, width or, or height to your, to your actual device. It's very slim, but it feels substantial enough that you know it's protecting your phone. All right, guys, that was my initial review of the Spigen Ultra Hybrid case. Again, showing you a little bit of the kickstand right here. Um, and there you go. So you can watch videos, no problem. That was my review of the Spigen Ultra Hybrid case. If you guys have any questions in regards to this case, or you want to leave any comments of some other Spigen cases that you might want me to review, again, leave that in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so because there's a lot more videos to come up. My full, uh, my full impressions and my, my full review of the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus will be coming to the channel shortly and a few more case reviews. And uh, I look forward to uh, reviewing some more products for you guys. All right, guys, that was my video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I said guys enough.